I'm back! More Earthbound for you. I'm in Summers. Just got done with uh, Volume 4. We got to our fourth Your Sanctuary location, and now we're going to go to number 5. Well, not today, but soon. So we're in summer. Summers is like the opposite of winters. Winters is always cold. Summers is always warm. And um, I guess we're going to fight this sign. I think these were in um, Foresight as well. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. I took a little while off from uh, Earthbound to do Mega Man X and um, a couple of other games, Paperboy and Street Fighter. But now I'm back with Earthbound. Oh no, it's the Crazy Taxi. Let's fight it. Crazy Taxi! Oh, Mad, mad Taxi, my bad. It accelerated right over me. It was totally scrapped. Mad Taxi, he's terrible, totally scrapped. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to the museum here in Summers, because everyone needs a good museum. Right now, part of the Scaraba, Scaraba? Culture Museum is being Ronald. Do you still want to enter? Yes, $3 per person, study hard. Thank you. Go in here, talk to some people. Why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah! I dare him to try to upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was talking to myself. <coughs> yeah, it's important that you talk to that guy. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully, awfully wealthy. He's being extravagant. I bet it was that stupid pokey. Nobody likes pokey. He's evil. There's being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you have dollhood, you understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal will be in order. Okay. So we also need to talk to that guy so we know that he likes jewelry. So two reasons to go into the museum. Now we're gonna head back outside. Wow. Let's move this camera up. Not that far. I don't have problems with this camera's color. It's still a little bit too far. Been having a lot of problems with the camera's color lately. Still not good. Uh, hopefully that will. Yeah, that stops it from being too red. That's a little better. Okay. Let's go down past the hospital. Only a tanning pro like me is able to get an actual suntan on the palms of his hands. Wow. It's like you're from the Jersey Shore or something. <laughs> uh, monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. I know I'm not scared. Across the sea, there's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. I think that's the Egypt, the name of the Egyptian town. Let's see. If you be heading to Scaraba, you ought to shop here. They are expensive down there, so what are you looking for? I oh, don't really need anything from in here. I know in summers everything is like extra price. You can get it way cheaper later in the game, so I'm not buying it right now. Let's see. Do you like a boat ride? Yes. I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. She spends these days hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Is our relationship over? <sighs> All right. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? So the problem is she's hanging out at Club Stoic all the time. So she's very, very tired. Or very, very not tired. Um, she doesn't really show her emotions. You need to call secret number for reservations if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I worry, though. It's a strange place. Alright, so... Hello, Eric. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Eric, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know players just like you. That's right, you. The one holding the controller. Would you like to register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Alright, so you put in your real name. I'll put in... Royal. 
A few spaces. Yeah. Wow. They really left a lot of spaces. Syrup. G. Amber. Okay. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yes. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Eric in any dangerous situations. Okay, I worry about him. I really do. We'll talk to you later. Eric, I hope that I see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. It's like my grandma. Love her. Love talking to her on the phone. It's hard to get her off the phone. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Oh no, I turned backward to fight the taxi and the sign got me. Bloody. Attacking. Oh no. It's not, your exhaust fumes are not working on RSG. I'm sorry to tell you. Craze sign and mad taxi. 52. Oh, come on. A dodge. Two dodges? Wow, he's really hitting us for everything. Ah, uh, he's totally scrapped again. He's terrible. He's a terrible taxi. Alright. So, we gotta get a phone. Whoop. Call? Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, RSG, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Alright. Now we gotta go to Stoic Club. Didact didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to uh, explicate the fact that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. Finally awaken the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole into their psyche. I am now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my superego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time or no time. My id is telling me. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism. Incredible. Hmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. You know I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hey everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices for just a glass of water, the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to look at the stupid stone. Let's see. Uh, check. Nope. Can't look at it. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Philosophizes. Doesn't that sound stupid? Hmm. Hmm. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. I see. Okay, why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Ooh, fancy. Your cart. Gotta get some magic cake. It's probably drugs. Why is that mole attack me on the beach? Holly leveling up from a random fight that I didn't have to do. Wake up in the morning, fall in love, eat lunch, fall in love, and at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Huh. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He's following me around. What a creeper. This is not okay. This is 2018, dude. We're spoiling the atmosphere. You know what, dude? You look so serious. You're in summer. It's a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. I am having fun. I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. Why is... All the people on the, on the beach are so grumpy. Alright, let's find this cart. Maybe it's not on the beach. There it is. Maybe it's not on the beach. 
I don't know who told you. You came from far off to see my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all of their material. This is a very special magic cake. See? I love that sound effect. It's my favorite sound effect in the game. It only comes up like two or three times. All right. Arshi had a dream. It was very clear and very strange dream. Dalam in the Far East. The Palace of Ryu, the Crown Prince. There he is. Prince Ryu, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I'm praying for your success in this, the final stage of your training. Hello? Is that you, RSG? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at times like this. So I guess this guy is your dad, which is funny. I mean, we are hallucinating, but um, what we're really doing is having a psychic experience. So... Use the treasures of the Lama as you wish. Go in peace. Whoa, there's a cup of life noodles inside. That really is a treasure. So is brain food lunch. Those are both very good. What's in here? Brainstone inside. What the heck is a brainstone? Huh. Hmm. Brainstone. Prince Ryu, you're my favorite. Hee 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 Well. I wasn't expecting that. Just looking around the lamb. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Hmm. Hmm. Preet Poot. Oh, that's weird. Oh, Prince Ryu, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? So lonely without you. All the women, all the ladies love Ryu. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. What's in your box? Bottle of water. Cool. Bottles of water restore psychic points. Kind of like uh, PSI caramels, right? Slightly increases, yeah. I don't think they're as good as Psycharmals, though. Oh, Prince Ryu, do you have time to play with me? Yes. Happy me, patty cake, patty cake. Oh, that's a that's a young girl. I don't think Prince Ryu is that young. Yes, roast some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. Oh. Okay. I heard that Prince Ryu is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Lam restaurant, we accept dollars. Oh, Prince for use a hunk. Wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I never seen him before, the prince can do that. I guess need more training. By the way, just what is PP anyway? We serve water, rice gruel, those sorts of things. What would you like to do? Huh. Mmm, jar of deli sauce. Eight hundred dollars for some brain food lunches. That's crazy. Bowl of rice gruel inside. What does rice gruel do? 200 HP, that's pretty good. More water. Water's good. It's in the chest. Jar of deli sauce. That's a special topping. You know what, that you do everything well, right? Do, do? You know that you do do everything well, right? Do, do, oops. Say, Prince Ryu, you're still popular with the girls. No, you've been acting very serious lately. Oh, got him. <laughs> this is move the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, 
You'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Yuru. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing during this hell I will see you again so long. Ah, Prince Ryu, I am a master from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Ryu, you must come back to me instead of staying in a place like this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your highest, you must go with this trial now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Can't move. Do not move. Because if you move, you'll lose concentration and you won't be able to do your trial. See? This, this part of the game scared the crap out of me as a kid. I was like 12 or 13 and I got scared of it. Prince Ryu, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? I always just put no, but you actually have to. And then your HP goes down. I'm so sad. So, Prince Ryu, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yes. Zero HP. Ah, Prince Ryu, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind me taking away your hearing, do you? you do you accept this? Yes. So, Prince Ryu, no legs, no arms, no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Yes. So, Prince Ryu, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. Oh, I'm still getting chills from this part. In the end, I will take your mind, though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer? You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Ryu, now that I'll possess it. Prince Ryu, you have not completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. As a kid, I would, like, not do this. I was like, no, no, I need him to fight. I know he's the last member of the party. But, you know, you have to accept all the... the death and etc. The harm and the pain and everything. It's mental training, not physical training. I don't know what this guy is. He just says, Preet Poot. Back to the palace. I am proud. You have completed your Mu training. There's nothing more to teach you within the Holy Writings. Prince Ryu, I was going to say, if this is a stupid guy with a camera, I'm so mad. Shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named RSG is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Ryu. Now that you've completed your training, search out RSG at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Ryu's level went up to 16. 17. 18. And he's going to teleport. He's going to do the circular teleport. Oh, I guess not. That was weird. There he is! My name is Ryu. I'm the one who will fight beside you. I'm the servant of RSG. I will obey R RSG. RSG, my life is in your hands. That's how we get our last party member. So we're over halfway through the game. And we just now got our last party member. So we got... A party member after the second, or right before the second Your Sanctuary location, right before the third one, and now right at the beginning of the fifth one. And I do want to get equipment on him, even though it's going to be expensive as anything. Ugh. Oh, I guess he doesn't need any of this stuff. Look how expensive that is. I can't afford all this crap. I will buy a super plush bear, though. I have enough money to do that, so let's do it. Bye. Super plush bear. And Ryu will carry it, because he has space. 
Nothing else. Thank you. Call mom. And call dad. So I can save and not be homesick. Alright. So now that I have... Um, now that I, I don't think you have to take the brainstone. Let's just fight this guy. Because we have Ryu in the party. So let's see what he has. He, he has mirror. He has goods. He's got defense. His Psy is freeze and thunder. He has life up and healing, which is good. And he also has a bunch of shields. I'm just gonna have him defend right now. I think we have, you know, we have that bear anyway, but. Not trying to get my new guy killed. The mad taxi was totally scrapped. Oh, Eric's level one up. I think RSG is 42, and Ryu's like 20. Check, no. Okay, I guess not. Although now these two people over here are moving. Hmm. What about this guy that looks like Mr. T? Hmm. Weird. I guess that's all you need for Club Stoic, though. To be stoic and thoughtful and intellectual and not have emotions. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna go back here. I don't know if I need to go back to the museum first, or if I need to go to the guy whose wife it is. I think I need to go to the museum first, because the guy that rents the boat his wife is Cake Lady. Alright. Ohio 40. That's where I'm from. It's not where I live, but it's where I'm from. Oh no, crazed sign! Alright, let's go into the museum. Or as we say in Spanish, museo. Tisk tisk, you should know better. Oh, I forgot to pay. You cannot get it without paying a mission. It's three dollars per person. You'll pay, won't you? Yes. Please go right in and ask someone inside for more detailed information. My bad. I'm sorry, I forgot. Let's go back upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Yes. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. Excellent. Do you feel like your early experience is a great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. Ha ha! The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> oh, this is a boss fight. Oh, crap. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's just use everything. 47. Let's see how fire does. 74. SNES beta. 223. That's pretty good. I thought I had that super plush bear. Freeze beta. Freeze is good. Okay. So let's use Psy SNES and freeze. Uh huh. And. I don't know. Defend and freeze again. Oh, this should crush him. Yeah, 415. Defeated! Oh, that's so many points for, uh, for Ryu. A mummy rat. Level 43. 19. Oh, that's going up. 20. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 5. Oh, baby! Defense went up by 4. Bunch of stats. Side magnet. Alright, same thing. Freeze. Defend. Freeze. Beedle, beedle, boop. Oh, I just called home. Maybe you can only call home, uh, man, freeze is good. Use freeze on the Shattered Men.
Yeah, oh baby. Oh baby, stuff's going up. Excellent. Ryu read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid is protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and will build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even further beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded and is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of the truly, truly brave hero. Dance in front of the Sphinx. RC, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyph just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Use it in your human civ class. Ha ha ha! Okie dokie! So, um, that's important for what we're getting ready to do. Oh, that's weird. Hello. Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. Not something so extraordinary that the words cannot do it justice. What do you mean? Who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this fine. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Click. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Mom and then I'm going to save. And that's going to be the end of this, um, this video. So as always, thank you for tuning in. And this was a fun episode. We didn't do a lot, but it was fun to do a whole bunch of stuff and uh, get Ryu. And um, if you want to watch my Super Sweet Sunday video from yesterday, I played Street Fighter. That video should pop up here any second. Also, I'll put up my most recent episode before this one of um, Earthbound. Click my face at the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. And if you want notifications, back out to the main video screen and click the bell. Thanks again for watching Roaster Gamer, and we'll see you next time. Bye!